Welcome back to another episode of The Knowledge Bomb. In this episode, we're gonna talk about the importance of glutes and how to assess for dysfunction. A lot of you guys don't have glutes that turn on, sequence correctly, or there's just a dysfunction left to right. Uh, it's pretty prevalent. I think a lot of the sitting we do in our lives tends to turn glutes off. Uh, there's a bunch of other reasons why that might be occurring. One of, the, one of the examples I always like to talk about is, is our runners. If you've ever seen somebody run down a road and their knees are caving in and it just looks just painful and like that person should not be running, that's typically a result of, of a lack of external rotation. If you, if you think about it right, femurs are driving in, it's the glutes that actually actively externally rotate our femurs. Uh, and so in that case, uh, and in the case of folks who squat really, really heavy and the knees dive in. It might be happening to you. Uh, I'm sure, I guarantee you that you've seen it in somebody. But next time you see somebody squatting, just take note of their knees and if they actually stay parallel and they're able to actually externally rot them, rotate them. So we're gonna talk a little bit about how to assess uh, glute dysfunction. Um, now the type of dysfunction uh, goes a lot deeper than, than this video. However, just doing a couple different tests will go a long ways into maybe what some exercises you should be including, things that you should be prioritizing in your training. The importance of the glutes is really to keep healthy knees uh, and healthy hips uh, intact, performing at a very, very high level. And so if you think about a heavy squat, front squat for instance, and your knees are caving in, you're giving away a lot of power that if you develop glute strength, glute function, could be sharing some of that load. So from a performance standpoint, it's huge. If you think about getting buried in a, in a heavy clean and your knees are diving in, uh, if you could, and it's hard to quantify it, but it, let's say you developed your glute strength 20% stronger, right? And that's kind of a, I don't know, throwing out numbers like that is all kind of weird. But if your glutes were 20% stronger, think uh, what impact that could have on your front squat. So rather than just front squatting and front squatting and squatting and squatting because you need to drive your, uh, you know, your numbers up, think about the little pieces involved that support, share some of the load. External rotation in the femurs, right, in your hips is a position of power efficiency. It's one that we want to cultivate. I have Aaron here who's going to demonstrate uh, an assessment, a test that we use, uh, it's, it's to assess uh, Trendelenburg uh, kind of deficiencies. Uh, Trendelenburg was a neighbor of a doc. He's got a couple variations of his tests out there. It's from the orthopedic sports world that we've adopted. And it's basically just to see and assess uh, at, at, at a very basic level Aaron's glute function, if you will. Uh, so this is where I would start. Uh, the second test that I'm going to show you is going to be a Bulgarian rear elevated split squat and we'll talk about a little bit about when you perform that test, how to do it and what we're looking for. So here, uh, you're just going to get your athlete uh, in, a, in a glute bridge set up with a barbell. It can be with a PVC pipe depending upon uh, the strength of your athlete. I'm going to go ahead and ask the athlete to go ahead and drive the hips up to where uh, shoulders, hips and knees are all creating a straight line. And from this position, right, we're gonna first demonstrate what uh, actually glute function, glute stability um, looks like, healthy structure. Aaron's gonna go ahead and raise his left leg and the barbell is gonna stay parallel. Now he's gonna go ahead and reset, reset the bar's position, going back up. And then the right's gonna come up and you notice that the barbell is staying level. Go ahead and reset. And that's the, the way that's happening is by glutes externally rotating and keeping the pelvis, right, the hips uh, level. If, for instance, Aaron would drive up and he had le right glute dysfunction, left leg comes up, you're gonna see a droop in the bar where the glute actually can't externally rotate um, down. And let's come on up and we'll show that example again. Let it droop and now squeeze this glute and it should right upright. So go ahead and relax. There's a couple things that could be going on 
relative to having a failed test, so to speak. One is just glute sequencing. They just might, they might have strong glutes, but they're not able to activate them. Uh, they might just have uh, a weak glute from injury, uh, a whole bunch of different reasons. So, but basically this is a great place to start. If you know you're a person that has knees driving in, go ahead and complete this on yourself. See what comes out of it. Uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to fix this in, in, in some brief examples. Uh, most everybody here knows uh, what a rear elevated Bulgarian split squat looks like. We're gonna go over that next and talk about what to look for uh, and, and the implications around that.